Oh no. Luckily I noticed that. Looks like the I don't know what other flexes to hit because you guys can't see much, but like. Well, we should stay consistent with that one, anyways, just because I've been doing that one, so. What's up, chat? I did not. So, yesterday. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna call it my girlfriend, right? She falls asleep at, like, 11, so I'm like, um, sweet, this is when I'm supposed to go to sleep anyways, so now I don't, like, you know, I'm not gonna, like, fuck around and, like, talk to her for, like, a long time after I'm supposed to fall asleep. And I'm going to bed at, like, 12, um, something and I was like well there goes that and guess what and I don't want you guys to change how you guys are but I was like man I really gotta um, reply to those comments I started replying to comments at like 11.30 and that's why I was up for so long cause or no it was like 11.45 11.50 it just took a lot longer than I thought to reply to those things and I really need something to drink and I don't have any more water so I'm gonna go get some juice I guess I'll be back So this is strawberry and <clears throat> and banana um, V8 juice. The only thing we have to drink. One thing I'm grateful for is V8 juice. I brought up V8 juice to my girlfriend one time. She's like, ew. I don't know why she's dissing VA juice. Like, I wouldn't buy this stuff on my own. But it's my grandma's, right? She likes to drink it, so. I drink it occasionally. And the shit's pretty fire. You know, like, no added sugars. It's all, like, um, naturally sweetened. For the most part, you know, obviously, like, there's some little things in it. But there's no added sugars. Yeah, I like blueberry and pomegranate better than strawberry and banana. That's just the one that was in the fridge. Um, there's a mango and peach one, I think. That one's pretty good. Um, I like that one because I like mango. I don't like peach so much. But yeah, um, favorite thing of the day. I need a pen. I'm not settling for a pencil, so hold on. I think I've um had to write in pencil before. Hold on, wait, I'm not fine. You know, no, we're not supposed to go to that now. My girlfriend. You know? Made sure I got most of my stuff done today before I talked to her. You know, I went about it in a smart way because I had some more time to work on my stuff today, so. <laughs> Make sure I was smart about it.
<clears throat> Question of the day, because when I was laying in bed replying to you guys, um, <laughs> honestly, I like was laying there and I was like, shit, I forgot to ask a question. It is what it is. Um, it's not like the most important thing I do in my videos. Like, I always make sure I say what I'm grateful for. I've done that every single video. I've never missed one. But, you know, sometimes I have a song recommendation of the day. Which, there is one that I wanted to say for today, but I forgot it, maybe. Wait. There was something I was listening to today. Anyways, um... <clears throat> if you could pick one color, be as specific of a color as you want. And whenever you saw this specific color, you would um, um, feel the, the 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 undertone of this color, right? Like blue is, you know, it was like halfway thought of in my head. Pick any color. No, if you were to pick a color, be as specific as you want. And whenever you saw this color, it would inflict upon you the mood of, of which it, it um, it, it conveys, you know, like blue means sadness, red means anger, green means happiness, you know, but you could get like more specific or, you know, like whatever you, um, associate the color with. Cause like, if you've ever played the Sims, right, like slightly more blue color is like inspired like a uh, purple but not a royal purple is kind of like focused um me personally i'd probably want i'd probably want motivated you know people say um you you can't just run off of motivation right but and, and that's true but that's because we don't have an infinite supply of motivation. If we were motivated all the time, we'd get everything we need to do done. And I'd probably associate that color with like a, like a, this kind of blue, like that top kind of blue. I've spoken about nothing like too much already. So, I've talked about this before. Since I was younger, um, I've always like wanted to be a YouTuber, right? I'd always like see YouTubers and and want to be like one of them. So it was stupid, you know, it was when I was a lot younger, and the videos are still out there somewhere. I have them, but I'm not gonna share them. Um, it's like when I was 11. And I haven't posted on there since freshman year. Which, I mean, hey, that's really good. Because it means I have grown out of that little phase. Um, but, you know, it's always kind of been within me. And if you ever watched my first video, I don't know if I said it, and I think I did. The reason I started this um, series is because I was doing a TikTok thing for my pineapple plant. I don't show him much, but he's over there. Um, the weather's getting nicer, so he's gonna stop dying and we're gonna get him in the sun as soon as we can. I honestly just lost the motivation to do that. It, it was more than motivation, what was keeping me going. I wanted to prove that I could do it for a long time because that's something I've struggled with before. I'd have motivation, streaks of motivation where I'd do something creative like that. And I wouldn't stick to it, but I did it for like 32 weeks. Um, but, you know, my decision to stop doing that was kind of hard on me because I said I was going to, you know, like I said, I, I didn't want to stop, 
but honestly, if part of it was from the lack of attention, right? I was putting like a lot of creative energy into it. Um, not only that, but you know, when I first started, I'd wake up right as soon as I got up. That'd be the first thing I did. It started to become like something I did later and later and later. I just couldn't do it the same anymore. And it just wasn't hitting the same. You know, I really found a style going. I really found my creativity and how to use it. But it kind of hurt that I stopped doing that. But I did decide it was pointless to do. Because at that point, that was what ultimately why I gave it up. Because there's no other point in doing it. I've kind of already proven myself. I did it for 32 weeks. That's a long time. It was, I started July 30th and I went until like, like probably like within the week of me starting this account. Or like it was like a week and a half after. So this was what I did instead. And some of those, because now I'm starting to get attention. And before I had got you know, this much attention, I kept saying, I'm going to keep it, you know, whatever. I'm going to try not to make this like, I'm not going to try and be like a YouTuber. But the urges are coming back, man. And I have an idea for a video. I'm not going to be like the greatest one ever. I'm not going to be the highest of quality, but I could do more, you know. And like, I'm thinking of doing like a day in the life, you know. Um, probably a weekend day, like maybe, um, yeah, this weekend, maybe I'll drop it. I mean, it'll just give you guys some insight, but also because it'll paint what my day looks like at the time. If you guys have been watching me, my definition of busy has changed a lot because, you know, I've been able to let go of a lot of things that I used to enjoy. And instead I replaced that with more work. And, you know, I find that there's always further I can, a further extent to which I can take that. My days now are the busiest I've ever been. But a few months ago, I thought I was busy, busy. But really, when I look back at it, I wasn't fucking busy. Maybe doing more than other people, but still not busy. And, you know, it, you know, like, because I do have routines. It's not like the most strict, but it's just something I've been wanting to do. Or actually, I thought about it today. Something I've been wanting to do since today. Because, you know, I have a platform. And, you know, I like to make this account not only just like for more attention, but because I have the attention, I'm more motivated to do it. I want to like just put more content on here. You know, like show more of my life maybe. Not more of my life, but like, the vi these videos are the same. Like, why not get creative? Um, I'm still going to try my best not to really, um, forgot the term, but like, I want to try not to like, really be like a YouTuber. Uh, I want to stay. I've been called a YouTuber before in the comments. It's like, you're like the greatest YouTuber ever. I've seen a few times. I don't try to be a YouTuber. I don't try to do this to entertain. But, you know, that's just what people have been ended up watching for, which is fine. And, yeah. Um... I think I'm going to open up a retirement account. I got a comment before that was giving me like some instructions, or not instructions, but like some advice on, um, you know, like saving early. And I know, I know I should save early, and it's something I've been like wanting to do for a while. I just didn't know how. You know, my grandma randomly like just started talking to me about something called a Roth IRA. So I looked at it for a little bit, and then I went to my, my bank like the website and I saw that they have that so I'm gonna do a bit more research I'd like to know what you guys know about it um and yeah my voice is just like a bit messed up because um I know why but it's like 
stupid. <clears throat> So, since I've been losing weight, I've feared that I've been in starvation mode. And, you know, while I don't think I am at the same time, I'm still worried that when I start eating a more normal amount, or, you know, like, you know, an amount that is more satisfactory, that I'm going to gain the weight back, even if it's, like, gradually. That's what I fear. So, you know, again, like, my muscles still been the same. If not, I've been stronger um, since I've been losing the weight. But it's still, like, scary to know that possibly I could just gain that weight back. Because I know I haven't been going about my weight loss in the most calculated way. Like, it kind of just happened one day and I noticed the changes. So I was like, oh, this works. I'm going to keep doing it. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, eat more normally for... It doesn't have to be a week. I'm thinking, like, four or five days. And what I hope to see... I want to see if that number stays the same. About. I'm going to try and eat about the same amount every day. But more. I want to see if that number gradually goes up. And if it does, then changes have to be made. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. And I don't know if I'll be too far gone or whatever, but I need some advice. But I would like you guys to hold your advice. Well, give me some advice. Whenever I talk about my weight, I generally get the same kind of advice. You know, not saying it isn't appreciated, but, um, you know, it's just like, make sure you do this, make sure you do this. Um, which, you know, I encourage it and I appreciate it, um, but I want to, I want to see what these next four or five days tell me, and, you know, if it's, um, as I hope it isn't, then again, something's going to have to change, and it's going to be pretty heartbreaking for me, because I've been feeling great, so much more lean, like, the abs are finally starting to come out, I still have a bit more work to do, and I'll be done. But I don't want to jeopardize my health. And even though I think my health is fine, I really do. Because I've been doing this for a minute, right? Like, I haven't been stupid about it either. Um, I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to keep going with this if it's all going to be for nothing. So. Not much to talk about today, you know. Um, spring breaks next week. I plan on getting a ton of work done just because... I'm not going to have class. I'm going to have a lot less interrupters that week. Um, and my girlfriend doesn't have spring break this week. Or the, the same week. I think she has it the week after me. So it's going to be easier for me. You know, like, I'm kind of glad it happened that way. Just because I can get what I need to get done out of the way. I'll have a week to really focus on my stuff. And not, not worry about other work coming in from some classes. Some of them are but yeah, um, I don't know, um, not much, there's, there's no, like, big theme of today, today's just another day where, it's just another day, another day in life, yeah, I do want, or, um, what's it called, no, not, not get ready with me, but just, like, yeah, a day in the life, I've done some, like, I don't know, I have a playlist on my account, and it's, like, just, it's called content, or extra content, and it's my only videos that aren't these kinds of videos, um, where I sit here and, and talk. One of them was, like, a psych thing I did for psychology during my little winter semester. That class was pretty easy. I got an A on that. Um, to me, where I built a snowman and then broke it, it was just, like, different because, like, I haven't built a snowman in a long time. And I, you know, it snowed. So I was like, I'll build a snowman. And, you know, the snow's fun. I loved it. Um, there's a little short of me bowling. There's a, um, 
Duolingo thing on there. There's another Duolingo thing on there. And, um, yeah. I feel like I'm missing something, but it's alright, we can end this a bit early. This isn't even early, like, I imagine we're around 20 minutes, I've kind of been better at gauging the time. Um, probably almost at 20. And, um, this is how long they should be. I mean, my first video was 8 minutes, I was like, they should probably be like a bit shorter than this, they don't have to be this long. Bro, my average video length is probably like 23 minutes at this point. Um, what am I going to throw out is the big question. I got plenty of massaging to do to my legs. Um, still a bit injured because I don't know if I really talked about this. I ran three miles at the track the other day. Yeah, I think I forgot to talk about this or I didn't talk about it much. Um, and I kind of humbled myself. Um, I ran on Monday because... Um, was it Monday? Yeah. Cause, yeah, today's Wednesday. I had more uh, motivation because I signed up for, I'm, I, I'm already registered to a race, but that's in a town around me. There's um, a race that's like right near where I live, um, and it's happening sooner than the other one, so <clears throat> I was kind of more excited, excited, and there might be people that I know at this race, so I was thinking like, I gotta be better, you know, I gotta be ready, and I don't want to embarrass myself, I want to prove a ton of people wrong, especially if these people are going to be there, you know, like, just, just think about it, they remember me a different way, they remember me when I was heavier, probably lamer, they probably remember me as a quiet kid in school, I'm like the opposite of that now, I'm way cooler than them, and, you know, I don't even have to know them, but, you know, I don't know, that's just like my little ego talking, but yeah, um, I ran three miles total, but after the first three laps of the 12 that I ran, because um, four, four laps is about a mile, so I ran three, and then I stopped because my foot hurt, my soleus on my right side, which is like the back of your leg, and I kept going anyways, like I just took a break after every three, and you know, it hurt the, fr like the first three laps didn't hurt so much the other ones, but yeah. Um, my cardio's gotta get better. You know, it's, regardless of how I perform, I know that with this race, these races coming up, it's just more reason to train. So, you know, it's just gonna push me to be better. Um, so even if I don't do as good as I want, because I know I won't, um, I hope to do well. You know, and I want to prove some people wrong. Who knows, I might... I think I could pull it out of my ass, honestly. Like, I'd have a lot more reason not to stop running. I don't think I would ever stop and, like, take a break. Even if I'm, like, barely even running. You know, I don't think I'd let myself. But, yeah, we'll be we'll be better. And I'm going to keep at it. And what am I going to throw out? I'm sorry about my voice. I don't know, I guess I'm... No, I've talked way more than this. Like, it's not even about, like, my talking in the video. It's, like, just some things I was doing earlier. I haven't been, like, smoking or anything. So don't ask me that. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't vape, I don't do any of that. It's lame. Drugs are lame, unless you aim to live, but... I'm not going to show you guys, um, front, but it says my name because it's like, it's like a birthday card. So, my friend who, um, 
I was friends with a long time after this as well. Um, this was in 2015. He invited me to his birthday party at a bowling alley. Um, his name is, um, uh, yeah, his name was, um, Sean. Yeah, we were cool by the end of senior year. But, you know, we got a bit, like, shaky after freshman year because, like, he started going into, like, a different path, like, of drugs and stuff. And it, it wasn't even, like, that bad. He just, like, smoked weed and um, started vaping, getting involved with the wrong people. And um, I just didn't fuck with it. You know, now now I'm a bit, like, more accustomed to that stuff. Not I've never did any of it. I've never vaped. I've never drank. I've never smoked anything but you know I'm I'm around more people who do it I guess or I have been so I'm not like too you know like you know whiny about it but but yeah um he's cool you know W Sean um yeah I'm gonna throw that out And doesn't have to go on any longer. Um, song recommendation of the day. It's called "Demonstrate" by um, Young Garzy, I think. Um, y U N G space G A R Z I. Um, that's all you guys get. Peace.